What's up? My name is Andrew, and you are tuned into Play Action Productions. First of all, before I start the video, I want to thank everybody for the support on my last video. You see these views and these subs and these likes? This shit is crazy. Yeah, I did not expect that, so thank you very much for watching. I know the gameplay itself wasn't great, but I really enjoyed playing that beta. It did get taken down by EA. I'm not really sure why they don't want people promoting their game. I don't know what they're trying to hide, but that's an issue for another day. But when UFC 4 comes out in August, I will definitely be bringing a bunch of series to the channel. So stay tuned for that one. Hopefully you'll stick around with me for some cool UFC 3 content. Speaking of series, today, right now, you're watching episode 1 of something new to the channel I'm calling UFS Ultimate Fighting Simulation. Yeah, I know, I'm creative as hell. Alright, relax. The basis of the series is that we're going to take an upcoming title fight, main event, or just hell of a scrap, simulate the fight on UFC 3 10 times to try, keyword try, to get the average results and hopefully see if the video game can shed some light on what might actually happen during the fight. Now we all know how amazing the AI is in the game, so let me start this shit off by saying I'm not going to make you sit through 10 AI vs AI fights. Hey, nobody want that. I'll show some highlights, build the data into some charts, and we can discuss it after. No, I created this channel so I could have a place to discuss my love for MMA with other fans, so please comment away before, during, after the video, tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your grandparents, doesn't matter, let's just get some good discussions going. For this video, we'll be looking at the flyweight title rematch, Davison Figueredo vs Joseph Benavides 2. For those of you who didn't see the first fight, Davison won by a second round TKO, but he didn't capture the belt because he actually missed weight. A few big storylines going into this rematch. The first is the aforementioned weight issues. You know, Davison has some issues getting to Fight Island. Apparently, he tested positive for COVID-19 earlier in the year, got through it, and then had a false positive before he got to the island. From what I hear, he's there, he's healthy, so hopefully that stays the way it is. The second hurdle he's going to have to deal with is the weight cut. If you did watch the first fight, you know there's some controversy with the finish. The two fighters clashed heads, with Joe getting the worst of it and nasty gash on his forehead. Quickly after that, he was finished. And he came out after saying, you know, the headbutt impacted his clarity, he was out of it a little bit. Davison responded saying that it was Joe's fault, not his fault, because he was leading with his head, leaving in the center and kind of closing his eyes and swing punches like he was in a bar fight. And you know, if you do watch it back, he makes a pretty valid point, because he was leading with his head, which is not something he usually does, and I mean, that's how you get knocked out. You know, the headbutt, I'm sure it did have an impact, but uh, I guess that's why they're having a rematch. So now that you know how the series works, and you know about what happened last time, let's get the results. You heard Bruce Buffer, Davison Figueredo is your new flyweight champ. Well, at least after simulating 10 fights. And well, he, he did say still and not new, and he has to make weight, but despite all that garbage, let me tell you, the numbers, they're gonna surprise everyone. Why do you ask? Because this shit was not close. As you can see, Davison won 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, with 8 coming by submission. Pretty close, eh? If you've seen the first fight, you remember that he had Joe in an armbar in the first round and almost got him out of there. If it wasn't for that crazy flip spin that Joe did, it honestly made the arm look broken, like they allude in the broadcast, he would have been out. But he did struggle landing the takedowns, so if you base it off the first fight and that sim, there's a pretty clear path to victory here for Figueredo. Now after sitting through all 10 fights and getting past all those wonderful moments of both guys literally just standing there, It was easy to see the trends. Now obviously I know this is a video game and specific fighters slash characters are programmed to do specific things, but almost every fight went the same. 
Joe would start the fight by putting in the work on the feet, rocking Devinson multiple times with a great mix of punches and kicks. Devinson would go for a takedown, but don't go to Twisted. Davidson, he landed some good strikes too, but it was Joe's world on the feet. And it seemed though Joe would tire out, usually, I don't know, near the end of the first round. He would shoot for a lazy takedown and instantly get submitted. As you can see by these stats here, it's night and day. I just want to make this very clear. I don't think any, no, none of the fights actually went to decision. Only two of them went to a fourth or a fifth round. Most of them were first or second round finishes. So these guys are pumping volume. It may not seem like that over five rounds, but one to two rounds, they're pumping volume. One guy's clearly great on the feet. One guy's clearly better on the ground. And yes, like I said, they're programmed to fight the way their strengths are. But the difference was so significant. You know, it seemed like anything Joe was throwing was landing clean and really affecting Davidson significantly enough that he'd have to shoot for a takedown. On the other hand, Joe was taking punches a lot better. But again, as soon as he went for that lazy, I'm tired takedown, instantly choked out, instantly armbar. Armbar was a favorite one, I'll tell you that for sure. So based on 10 simulations, AI versus AI on UFC 3, the game predicts Davidson Figueredo will become the new flyweight champion of the world, wait pending, over Joseph Benavidez by submission. What do I think? I don't know. I I really enjoyed the first fight. I mean, the first round of it before that clash of heads. I thought they were pretty good competitors. They're relatively even. I think it's going to be a great fight this time around. I have. To, it pains me to do this to Joey V, but I I think Davidson's going to win. I think he's going to knock him out again. I don't know, man. I think I think Benavidez just might be in that cowboy range of one of the best fighters to ever fight without winning the title. I think if Figueroa can make the weight healthy and can do it without you know depriving himself too bad. I think he's he's a tough matchup for anybody. I mean, he'd be a good fight with Cejudo. So who knows what would happen? That's my prediction. I want to know what you think. So leave a comment down below. I want to know a bunch of things. Let me know who you think is going to win the fight. Let me know if you enjoyed this style of video. If there's anything you want added, anything you want removed, more data, less data, you know, that kind of thing. Anything you want to see. Also, let me know if there's other types of videos you want me to produce. I will definitely get on any good ideas. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.